On Sunday, police had released a statement naming one Ronald Sebelime as the suspect who had been shot after he allegedly tried to flee after an assassination attempt against State Minister for ICT Aida Nantaba had failed. Police has now retracted that earlier statement and admitted that Sebelime's death was an extrajudicial killing. We can certainly say that what was first reported as a typical police shooting story where perceived dangerous suspects were shot at during a pursuit is now established to be a straightforward case of murder. We are now holding the officers accountable for murder, conspiracy and for professional misconduct. According to police spokesperson Fred Enanga, three policemen have already been apprehended and a fourth one has been summoned. The police officers have been charged for giving wrong information about Sebelime's death with the intention of perpetrating a cover-up. It is true that uh, the deceased was removed from the police pickup and instantly shot dead by one of our errant officers uh, who was on the crew. After his arrest, Sebelime was found with a bag, which police now confirms contained nothing harmful. The exhibits of a bag uh, was recovered. It had eats and drinks belonging to the deceased and the police guns have also been recovered to aid in our investigations. On the second suspect who was allegedly riding with Sebelime, police has clarified that it is yet to get any information about his whereabouts, but they now suspect he is also not dangerous as earlier reported. The stranger whom he was carrying to guide him to St. Andrew's Kagwa, uh, Kavimbiri, for visitation, also disappeared in that melee and was not traced. But efforts are there so that we can trace for him and also get uh, a clear picture from him on uh, the stage at which uh, he got in touch with the Sebulima Ronald so that uh, it can help even clarify better uh, this matter. Police is also considering the issue of compensating Sebelime's family. So we shall leave that one for the Directorate of, of Legal and Human Rights Services to go ahead with that. According to police, Minister Aida Nantaba is yet to record any statement on the incident. Ali Mivule, NTV.